Hello everybody, I'm Mordecai Lacrosse, and it's time for another Paranormal Plus Photo video. I haven't done that many of these, and I plan to do more in the future. But we got paranormal photos ranging from people being visited by ghosts while taking pictures of them near an airplane, a Toys R Us ghost, and even Grandma being hunted by Grandpa. So continue watching this video to hear more. I'm Mordecai Lacrosse, and this is Paranormal Plus. This photo here in Paranormal Plus Photos, it was taken in 1987. Miss Sawyer, the woman in the photo, was visiting Air Airfield in England with her friend. She thought it'd be fun to take a photo of her sitting in this cockpit at, the, you know, this airfield. When the image was developed, though, there appeared to be a man sitting in the pilot seat. The thing is, he hadn't been there when the photo was taken. So who is he? A long-lost pilot? No one's sure. So perhaps it's some kind of ghost that hunts the airfield, or maybe it's someone connected to her of her forgotten past. Comment down below in the comment section of what you think it, this is. If you're watching this uh, video from TikTok, comment in the comment section, which I can't remember if it's over here or over here. I think it's over here. Anyways, comment in there of what you think happened. Is this proof of life after death? I'd like to hear your feedback. And now for this next photo. This next photo is known as the Boot Hill Ghost and was taken in 1996. You tell me on whether or not this paranormal photo is evidence of paranormal occurrences. Ike Canton's friend was only seen in this photo, was the only one seen when it was taken. Now the mysterious man wearing a hat behind him was not originally in the photo. Canton later looked close at the photo and decided the figure was in fact holding a knife with a point ending just above his collar. The man wasn't there and has become known as the Boot Hill Ghost. So tell me in the comment section of what you think. How exactly did this man appear in the picture when he wasn't there to begin with? Now, first glance, you're like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with this photo. It looks just like an ordinary black and white photo taken in 1985, right? But if you look again, you'll see a tall, dark figure wearing what could be a mock monk's frock with a hood in the top left corner of the photo. This is the photo of the Coventry Freeman Society showing everyone at the event, including this mysterious figure. The thing is, nobody at the event was seen wearing that style of clothing, nor was that man originally in the photo when it was taken. The man only appeared after the photo was taken. So what is the explanation for this mysterious figure? Is it some kind of entity or some kind of ghost? You tell me. This photo you see on your screen I may have had in a previous Strange True Photo video or Paranormal video that I've already done here on YouTube and for those of you watching on TikTok here on TikTok. I'm not sure. You can let me know in the comment section. But this is photo was taken August 17th, 1997. Now when the photo had been developed, copied and given to several family members, nobody noticed the male figure in the background behind the grandma. But the Russell family says it's a spitting image of their grandpa who died in 1984. They discovered that the man was in the photograph on Christmas Day of 2000. Is it evidence of their grandfather in spirit form coming back to watch over the family? Or is it a doppelganger or some other unknown, unexplained paranormal occurrence? Let me know in the comment section. Have you ever been in a near-death experience or a car wreck and you're like, the only way I could have survived that if there was something watching over me, like a guardian angel or a spirit of some sort? Well, that's what the person that this photo is of was thinking of how they survived their near-death experience. Rose Benavito, I may be pronouncing her name wrong, in 1988 was involved in a car wreck. She's, and as you can see by the car, the only way she could have survived the crash was she herself had even said so, was it would have taken a miracle or a guardian angel or spirit for her to survive the crash. And lo and behold, there seems to be that figure in attending firefighter Sharon Boo's photo. This was of in Pauline. So you tell me, is that what it is or something else? 
Now, some might say that a cemetery is one of the most, or a graveyard, is one of the most haunted places in the world, no matter what graveyard or cemetery that you go to. And the person that who took this photo might agree with you. Now, this photo here on your screen was taken by a Miss Andrews in 1947. When she was developing the film, she noticed a ghost girl in the photo. She said it wasn't her daughter in the picture. Despite in the graveyard being multiple children graves, the child in the picture still to this day has not been identified. The sea and the ocean can be a dangerous place, especially for those who take their ships across it and travel. This next very image that I'm about to show you is of one such incident. Let's see that photo. The image on your screen was taken from the SS Watertown and shows the face of two crewmen, James Courtney and Michael Meehan, in the water. The two men had recently died while on board the ship and were given a burial at sea. Other crew members on the ship saw these faces to the water and didn't initially take photos. They went back to a similar spot and saw them again. Five of the six photos showed nothing, but this was the sixth and clearly shows the faces of two men. The photo was taken in 1924. How do you explain? in this photo. So the photo on your screen was taken in 1978 at a Sunnyvale, California Toys R Us store. When the photo was taken, the figure in silhouette in the back leaning against the shelves was not in the photo until afterwards. It is said that that figure is a, the ghost of Johnny Johnson, who had a thing for this girl that lived there named Elizabeth that was a daughter of a plantation owner. The story is that he had accidentally cut himself while chopping wood and now roams the aisles of the store searching for her. So some of y'all might remember the particular story behind that photo that I just showed on your screen. It, you know, uh, talked about in the 90s and the 80s. And it was because the psychic Sylvia Brown actually visited the Toys R Us store. And she said that the ghost's name was Jan Johnny Johnson. And she said he was a traveling preacher from Sweden who sometimes worked on the farm. And while working there in the 1880s, he fell in love with the Murphy's daughter, Elizabeth. But his love, you know, wasn't returned to him, if you will, because she didn't have the same feelings for him as she did as, as she didn't have the same feelings for him as he did her so anyways she ran off with a lawyer from east coast leaving him broken hearted and whatnot well one day when i was chopping wood his axe slipped and gouged in the leg and he slowly bled, uh, bled to death and an unsettled ghost or you know unfinished business he has roamed the property ever since according to how the story goes in a series of hauntings in a most unlikely location an ordinary toy store in sunnyvale california this is a place in which they had lost or reportedly had lost six managers so out of desperation they called me and said would you please come in because we think we have a ghost it's a story of unrequited love and not like some of the violence we see at other, let's say, ghost stories. It's sad. It's, it's tragic. The photo now on your screen is taken at a San Antonio Railroad crossing. Years ago, sometime in the 30s, it is said that a school bus full of children broke down near a railway crossing in San Antonio. Tragically, a speeding train hit the bus, killing several children and the bus driver. This particular photo was taken by Andy and Debbie Chesney, which appears to show some ghostly apparition that people have suggested that look like ghosts of children. So tell me in the comment section of what you think. Is this a real fo ghost photo or is it a hoax? So let me know if this video is evidence enough to prove life after death. Are these photos enough evidence for you to prove that there is life after death and that these photos were of paranormal occurrences dealing with ghosts? In future uh, Paranormal Plus photo videos, I hope to have other paranormal activity caught on film and camera other than ghosts as you've seen so far. But anyways, tell me in the comment section of what you thought of these photos and whether or not you think these are actual real photos of ghosts. I'd like to hear your feedback. And if you're watching me from uh, TikTok, make sure you follow me. Click that follow button and whatnot. That's if I remember to put this on TikTok. I might not. 
And if you're watching me from YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified of future Paranormal Plus photo videos. I plan to make some very soon. And it's it's a very simple and easy thing to do. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button like your enemy and that notification bell to be notification bell to be notified of future Paranormal Plus video photo videos or Paranormal Plus videos. It's free. It doesn't cost you a thing. It's cheaper than coffee. So anyways, now for the outro. As always, remember when conventional science and conventional wisdom hold no answers, might we finally turn to the unconventional, improbable as the answers. Until next time, I've been your host for Paranormal Plus. I'm Mordecai LaCrosse. I'll see you on the other side. I would like to begin with a poem in old-fashioned meter. Be good to us, and we'll be good to you. Be good to us.